Hello kids, how are you? Hope all of you are fine in this new year and doing great. Okay children, now let us come to our new chapter of maths that is geometry. Shall we start then? Okay, fine. Then we need to know children what geometry means. Geometry is a branch of mathematics that measures and compares points, lines, angles, surfaces and solids. We need to know what in geometry these terms mean. What are points, what are lines, what are angles, surfaces and solids. So let us go to them one by one. Coming to the basics of all these terms. What is a point? Let us first discuss children. A point is a single exact location in space and a point is represented with a dot and labeled with a letter. This is how we represent a point here children. You can see below a dot is given, being given that is said to be a point and being represented by capital letter A. Now let us come to what a line is. A straight path that is made up of endless points in both directions is said to be a line. A line is represented by connecting two labeled points with an arrow on each end. And we even add a second labeled point so that it has got two perfect end points. Here children you can see the line AB that is marked by a bar on the top and two arrowheads on both the directions. Now let us come to what a line segment is. Line segment is a part of a line that extends from one point to another point. A line segment is represented by connecting two labeled points. You can see here children, a line segment is given with two endpoints as A and B which is represented by a bar on the top. Now let us know a little more about what parallel line means though it is not in your portion but to know is of no harm. A pair of lines on the same plane that are same exact distance apart and then never meet or intersect each other, they are known as parallel lines. Here children AB and CD are two parallel lines and the line segment AB and line segment CD are the same distance apart. They will never intersect or never meet each other. Now let us come to what array is. Array is a part of a line having only one point. You can see the uh, given picture here children the given diagram which is showing only one endpoint and that is named as a this is ray a written as a with a bar on the top with only a single arrowhead now let us come to what are angles two rays that have the same point of origin or vertex they are said to form an angle here children you can see two arms or two rays they are ray AB and ray AC or arms AB and arm AC which are meeting at a point and that point is known as A and that particular point is known to be the vertex. Okay, so the angle formed is you can either call it CAB or you can call it BAC, it is all the same. And the two arms are AC, arms or rays are AC and AB. Now let us come to the different types of angles. There are four different types of angles they are acute obtuse right and straight angle children straight angle is missing over here but i will discuss with you acute angle is an angle that measures between 0 and 89 degrees that means it has to be greater than 0 but it has to be lesser than 90 degrees it should range between 0 and 89 degrees what is an obtuse angle? An obtuse angle is an angle which measures between 91 and 179 degrees. That means it has to range between 91 and 179. Greater than 91 but less than 179 degrees. What is a right angle? A right angle is an angle which measures exactly 90 degrees. That is called a right angle. Now what is a straight angle? Angles whose arms lie in the opposite direction and they from the vertex children and they form a straight line. They are known as straight angles. And when two right angles are placed next to one another children, then a straight angle is formed and its measurement is exactly 180 degrees. This is all for today children. Now your chapter 14.1 is related with a line, line segment and rays that i have already discussed children here in the module you can do that exercise 14.2 deals with 
angle and vertex that also we have done and exercise 14.3 that you people need to mention seeing the diagrams in question number one which is acute angle which is obtuse which is right and which is straight angle and question number two discussed is write the type of angles that is formed in the given postures of yoga and question number three mentions write all the right angles acute angles and obtuse angles and straight angles which we have already discussed in the module or the video so children go for doing these exercises i hope all of you understood god bless you children and stay safe and fine